for the ReCB, the best channel on YouTube. Hello and welcome to the Halloween special. Now, for the Halloween special, what I really wanted to do was just tell a super scary story. But I want to have a little bit of a twist. Now, we've done quite a bit this year with AI, so I wanted to have an AI-generated super scary story. I was going to use Playground.ai, uh, which we've used before on this channel, but since we last used it, now you need to like pay for credits to get it to work or something, and I really just couldn't be bothered with that. So I found another one called Story Generator, and I used that. And now with that, you can input certain things like people's names and uh, just ambitions and all this kind of stuff. But I set it to all to random, set it to scary, and clicked go. So the story that we've got now is 100% AI generated and hopefully will be very scary. Uh, but to set the mood in here a little bit more, um, Alexa, set office lights to red. Oh yeah. Here we go. It's scary time. Right, so everything about this is AI generated, including the title, which is Two Witty Uncles Bouncing to the beat. Felicity Fish was thinking about Steve Clifford again. Steve was a delightful gamer with skinny feet and brown spots. Felicity walked over to the window and reflected on her creepy surroundings. She had always hated cold skeg Ness with its zany zealous zoos. It was a place that encouraged her tendency to feel cross. That's when she saw something in the distance, or rather someone. It was the delightful figure of Steve Clifford. Felicity gulped. She glanced at her own reflection. She was a modest, rude, Nesquik banana milkshake drinker with chubby feet and moist spots. Her friends saw her as a wonky, wonderful Wally. Once, she had even brought a resonant disabled person back from the brink of death. But not even a modest person who had once brought a resonant disabled person back from the brink of death were prepared for what Steve had in store today. The moon shone like eating blue bottles, making Felicity unstable. Felicity grabbed a peculiar sandwich that had been strewn nearby. She massaged it with her fingers. As Felicity stepped outside and Steve came closer, she could see the super smile on his face. Steve glared with all the wrath of 2,589 clumsy tame tortoises. He said in hushed tones, I hate you, and I want internet access. Felicity looked back, even more unstable, and still fingering the peculiar sandwich. Steve, I love you, she replied. They looked at each other with worrying feelings, like two attractive abundant aardvarks dancing at a very predatory wake, which had reggae music playing in the background, and two witty uncles bouncing to the beat. Felicity studied Steve's skinny feet and brown spots. Eventually, she took a deep breath. I'm sorry, began Felicity in apologetic tones, but I don't feel the same way, and I never will. I just don't hate you, Steve. Steve looked sparkly, his emotions raw, like a kindly, knowledgeable kettle. Felicity could actually hear Steve's emotions shattering into 3,697 pieces. The delightful gamer hurried away into the distance. Not even a drink of Nesquik banana milkshake could calm Felicity's nerves tonight. The end. Well, I think you'll agree that's quite the story. And quite the cliffhanger to, li to leave us on as well there. Um, unfortunately, we'll never know what happened to Felicity. And we'll never know what happened to Steve. And we'll never know what happened to the two witty uncles bouncing to the beat of the reggae music at the predatory wake. So many questions. Maybe that's the spookiest thing of them all. Until next time, don't have nightmares. And goodbye. <laughs> Yeah.